I'm Dr. Jasmine Ginsman and I am a senior lecturer in the Department of Business Management, specifically the School of Management Sciences at the Nelson Mandela University. And I'm also a certified financial planner. So at the institution, I am a, a lecturer. I teach, I research financial planning. I'm also a mentor to up and coming academics. I supervise um, a master's and PhD studies in financial planning. And um, most important, my role is also to coordinate the financial, the BCom financial planning program, which is a professional qualification at the university. Um, I'm also a mom. I am also a wife, um, which I uh, two important roles I take quite, quite seriously. So my research is informed by my teaching, which is my, my primary love as an academic. Um, I've been teaching financial planning for the last 10, 11 years. And I, I noted, I mean, for the reason why I studied it is because I, I, I noted a need in my own community and in the large community where financial planning seemed like something that wasn't accessible or attainable for people of color. Um, the financial planning content um, is such important and relevant um, you know, content, um, making sure that we've got um, financial planners that are actually able to provide financial planning needs to the broader South African community. Um, and that is where my research um, actually, um, interest actually um, was invoked because I found that um, it's not always that um, the financial planning speaks to everyone. So therefore, um, I decided to con do my research and focus my research on Africanizing financial planning. My own PhD um, focused on reconceptualizing how financial planning advice is actually given so that it is inclusive of everyone and more representative of every South African um, consumer who needs it. So um, I really consider myself to be an advocate of Africanized Africanizing financial planning. Um, most recently, I supervised my um, colleague um, and master's student who focused his research on zakat literacy, which uh, where zakat is one of the five pillars in um, the Muslim religion, which requires all Muslims to, whether depending on whether they qualify, um, requires Muslims to pay over a percentage of their wealth. That, of course, has a financial planning um, implication, and that is where I come in. And um, obviously, that um, doing that sort of research provides more access to um, consumers of all different races, creeds, cultures and religions to access financial planning, which is really needed. Another important aspect of, as part of being an academic is um, ensuring that you do academic engagement. Um, another side to me, another role um, that I view as being so important is um, doing community work, especially amongst the youth because I know that I think sometimes when you're in the academic environment, it's easy to um, disappear because everyone has qualifications. Everyone has the same aspirations. Um, having a doctorate seems like nothing because everyone else has one. But it's so important to realize that when you step outside of the institution, that there are other people that are looking at you, other people looking to you because you look like them. And so for me, being a woman and being representative of everything it means to be a woman, um, not only a woman, but a young woman, a colored woman, um, a mother, a wife. And that's something that's very important to me. So I do a lot of um, community work um, when I engage with um, different, uh, when I engage with youth at churches, at schools. Um, I often get invited and asked to do some motivational speaking um, because as I mentioned, it is, it's important to, to, as part of being a leader and being viewed as a leader, to step up and, and show everyone else that, because it's, it's difficult when someone tells you to aspire to something, but the person that tells you doesn't look like you, doesn't, hasn't gone through the same things that you've gone through, doesn't um, come from the same background that you do. So that for me is very important as a woman, um, as an academic, as, as, as a change leader in, in the academic environment and at the Nelson Mandela University. Part of being a woman um, comes with so many challenges. Um, often it feels like you have to make choices. You have to choose between whether or not you want to be a good mom, if you want to choose between being a good wife, be, choose between being a good career woman, a student, career development. And I was fortunate enough to say, not have to make that decision. And I said, I want it all. But of course it takes 
a village. It takes you making the decision as well to surround yourself with other strong women as well as strong men because it takes a really strong man, especially my husband, which I will acknowledge to, to be able to support and acknowledge and uplift another strong woman. Um, so for anyone um, who's looking to me, um, thinking that um, they want to be as successful, it's very easy to see and look at me and say that, they've, oh, you've got so many qualifications, you've had so many achievements, but what is so much more important is deciding who it is that you want to be and not what it is that you want to do. And that will inform every decision that you want to make and will inform and make sure that you are the best version of yourself.